SolidWorks Toolbox is a library of standard parts that is fully integrated with SolidWorks and is included with SolidWorks Professional and Premium. Toolbox supports international standards including ANSI, BSI, ISO and many more. The toolbox includes lots of useful hardware and fasteners such as bearings, bolts, cams, gears, nuts, PEM certs, retaining rings, washers and much, much more. To enable toolbox, click on add-ins, then check SolidWorks Toolbox Library for either the active session or on startup. The toolbox is accessed through the SolidWorks task pane under the design library tab. To use toolbox parts, simply select your standard, then the type of part you want to insert, then drag the component into your assembly and pick a size. Toolbox components such as a bolt, a screw or a washer will auto size when moved close to the edge of a hole and automatically snap the component into position with mates. Holes created using the hole wizard tool, which is included in FREC SOLIDWORKS, add an extra level of automation to the toolbox. Using the Smart Fasteners command on the assembly toolbar, selecting a hole wizard hole from the graphics display, then clicking Add, will automatically insert the correct type and size of toolbox component into that hole. The Smart Fasteners property manager then allows you to manually pick a length and even add components to the top or bottom stack, such as a washer and nut to the end of a bolt, and automatically resize the bolt length to suit. The Toolbox Library contains a folder of master part files for supported standards, along with component size and configuration information. When you use a new component size in SOLIDWORKS, the Toolbox updates the master part file to record the configuration information or create a part file for that size, depending on your user preference. To make it easy to share an assembly that contains Toolbox components with somebody who doesn't have Toolbox, set the Toolbox to create a new part file each time you use a new size of fastener. This is done in the Toolbox Manager, found under Tools, Toolbox, Configure, or at the top of the Design Library tab. On the User Settings tab, select Create Parts and choose a folder to store any newly created part files. In a multi-user environment, it is highly recommended for all users to share one toolbox for consistency, rather than having their own individual toolbox. The toolbox folder is installed locally to see SOLIDWORKS data by default, but this folder can be moved or copied to a shared location. The new location of your toolbox should be set in SOLIDWORKS System Options under Whole Wizard Toolbox, and then browsing to its new location. This will need to be done for each user. You can change the default description and file name for Toolbox components in the Toolbox Manager on the Customize Hardware tab. This allows you to use part names that you find more familiar rather than the standard part codes. A custom part number or description can also be added for each possible size of that part. You can choose how your toolbox parts are displayed in the SOLIDWORKS feature tree and the bill of materials. These options are changed in the Toolbox Manager under the User Settings tab, and they allow you to select either configuration name, description, file name, part number, or a custom file property. You can create your own Toolbox Parts folder to store your own custom parts. In the Toolbox Manager, select the Customize Hardware tab, then right-click on the Toolbox Standards folder and select New Folder. To add your own SOLIDWORKS part to a Toolbox folder, simply right-click on a folder and select Add File. You'll now be able to update the description, but do remember to save the changes to your toolbox so that your new part will be available to drag in from the toolbox in your task pane.